Welcome back to the Gemini channel. My name is Laura. If you're new to the channel, I'm going to do a general message for Gemini. Know that energy is fluid. Roles could be reversed. Interpret the message as it best resonates with you. Also know if you're new to my channel, I like to go deep within my reading. So my channel is a little bit different than other readings, readers' channels because I like to look at the spiritual blocks of shadows and see how they play out as karmic themes within your experience. So it's not so much about what your person is going to do, what they did do, but it's more on why they're doing what they're doing and why you're attracting that person into your life and what you would need to do to either shape shift that situation or break the karmic cycle. Because again, there's many different realities that play in at one time. Your level of consciousness determines what you do. So when we're coming from the highest vibration, we're coming from a place of unconditional love. When we have shadows, we're coming from a place of fear. So we are spiritual beings having human experiences. And a lot of times those human experiences create a lot of stress and they trigger us. Only things that are in resonance to your blocks can trigger you, right? Only things that are a vibrational match. So in order to, like I said, break that karmic cycle of whatever keeps happening, whether that's a, a relationship um, with someone that's emotionally not intelligent, so they're never, they never show up. Maybe they have addictions. Maybe you keep attracting people that have addictions. Maybe you have addictions. Maybe you have financial problems. doesn't matter what the situation is. It's the imbalance. So in order to actually break the karmic cycle, you have to integrate the spiritual lesson and transmute the negative energy. Otherwise, that negative energy affects our health. So everywhere where we have an endocrinian gland, we have a chakra and the chakras represent the psychological and emotional aspects of ourself, which are spiritual. So again, you're a spiritual being having a human experience. So every time you say, why do I keep attracting? Or do I have to like go through these horrible experiences forever? Or does God hate me? The answer is no. And yes, the answer is yes that you will have to go through the experience. But the answer is also no, that God does not hate you. You have free will and you have free will to choose what you want to create. But a lot of times we're unconscious of what we are creating. I don't know why my puppy is going crazy. Or my puppy is going crazy. All right, let's see if he's going to settle down. Okay, let's see. If you want to enter into winning a free reading with me, by the way, you have to like the like the video, comment the word of the video in your comment bar. And that's always on the first card that I pull out and subscribe to the channel. You'll know if I chose you, if I wrote the word winner underneath your comment. Now, the word of the video is always, again, the underlining energy that tells me why everyone's doing what they're doing. When we're dealing with people that have spiritual blocks, and we're dealing with triggers, we definitely want to know why everyone's doing what they're doing. What is driving, what is influencing everyone's behaviorisms? Because this is going to tell us why things manifest the way that they do too, right? Again, intolerance. So I feel like you've gotten to a place, Gemini, where you're like, I'm not having it. Either you or it's someone that you're dealing with. Again, it's like, I'm just not having it anymore. I'm done. And I feel as if, if it's you, which I kind of feel like it is you, that you're like, I'm done. I, I, I can't take this anymore. And I feel like everyone around you is actually angry that you're done when you were mistreated. And I feel like this happens to be a karmic pattern. What you'll notice is that I feel like for a long time you will regain you overdid, whether that was in your personal relationships, whether it was in, you know, work relationships, it didn't matter. And that came from a place of not liking yourself or not knowing your worth a hundred percent. So you were unconscious that you were overgiving how you were coming across, how people were 
perceiving you and I feel like you've done healing and and the people that are dealing that you're dealing with haven't really been in your life so they haven't seen the change so it's almost as if a light bulb is is all of a sudden going on for these people that you're really not you're done and you're done and they're being forced to reflect and they're not happy about it and I feel like you're also dealing with a karmic mate that is also mirroring this same energy. That's why you said that you're dealing with a lot of people that are actually angry. And I don't really feel like you're doing anything except for you have boundaries. So you can feel these people's anger and they're in a place of regret because they feel like they're powerless, that they can't get on over you anymore. They can't manipulate you anymore. The damage is done. They neglected to get to know you. They were very selfish. That's really what it is. So it was all about them. You were dealing with people, I feel like very narcissistic energy, low vibrational energy. They may say like, yeah, I always attract people like this. I don't know why. Well, that's a trauma. And it's a trauma because of the way you grew up, a parent whether it was a parent or a teacher or someone that was an authority figure that you were supposed to feel safe with. And I don't feel like you felt safe with this parent and that you perceive that this parent was very selfish and they neglected you. They didn't care about your emotional well-being. They didn't really even care whether or not you were taken care of in a lot of other aspects. You didn't feel safe. And you felt powerless. So I feel like the tables have turned. And that's why people are in a place of regret. And they're not used to having to feel this way, especially towards someone like you. So of course they're angry. Because why the hell should you be intolerant? It doesn't matter what I did. So they're going to be really dramatic and over the top to try and create a lot of commotion, to try and pull in other people again, to try and gaslight because they can't control you. So they're going to try to manipulate the environment. I don't believe that they're going to be successful. Keep your mind on what you want to create. Put your energy towards yourself because that's why you have power. You don't have power just because... Um, if you're going through a lawsuit, you have the power because I feel like you're going up against people. If you're going up against um, your this karmic mate, meaning they don't want to give give in to you, they don't want to show that they care. Well, it's again put the energy more into yourself. You can't manipulate people, and you don't want to manipulate the environment to actually um, try to make these people stop because then the universe feels like you're doing its job. And see, I feel like these people that you're dealing with, the karmic uh, relationship and these karmic relationships, whether it's family, whether it's old friends that come back into your life, it's just they would want to manipulate the environment to create a certain dialogue about you, but people will see the truth. And that's the thing. And so I feel like these people are at such a low vibration. They're going to be extremely dramatic to put the focus more on them, how they're victimized, but people actually have, will have, either have been in your life and have seen you working and have seen you create your life and have seen the type of person that you are, they can feel it for themselves. They can see the authenticity and they can also see that what you're dealing with is very dramatic energy. So are these people going to create a commotion? Yes. Will the karmic make you feel as if it's your fault? Yes. But I feel like this is happening because you used to get very emotionally manipulated and react. And that's what everyone wants you to do.
And so like, I feel like the old you wanted everything to be perfect, right? Well, used to want to be someone that was seen as perfect, maybe even because you had shame. A lot of times we wouldn't have these wounds of feeling like not safe, being neglected, if we didn't live in a place of complete survival. So understand that there's, a, what's happening is when you wanna be, be perfect or seen as perfect, that would be as lights, where I feel like at one time you cared more about what people thought, whether they liked you or whether instead of whether or not you were being re, uh, respected. And now I feel like you don't care. And that's the difference between the healed version of you and the non-healed version of you. The real version of you, you had put so much energy into yourself and self-love that you actually created um, like almost like a, a wall. So it's not that you don't feel these people's feelings. It, it's like, because I feel like you used to be able to be people used to be able to really manipulate you through them through your emotions and this is why you didn't trust yourself and that would also give you a, uh like shame feeling inadequate right it makes you feel shameful like I, nothing ever goes my way it was getting in my own way but how do you get in your own way well because other people so almost feeling powerless where that's not happening you're going through a spiritual cycle, but you're breaking that cycle. I feel like this has been a karmic theme that has played out throughout your entire life. And you have to break it in order to attract more abundance into your life, in order to really be on your soul's purpose. So I feel like you are someone that has been putting a lot of energy, like I said, onto yourself. And then that would make sense because the healing antidote for that would be, again, to, to give the energy to yourself because you'd have to reparent yourself because the wound originally came from childhood where you were neglected. And then it's playing out within these relationships where no one ever gave you anything emotionally. You were expected to give all of you. And be so self-sacrificing where the energy was so grossly imbalanced because you felt bad about yourself. And so, like I said, people haven't seen the change. They, you know, change happens a little bit over time. But this really says that these people have not given you anything. So it's almost like you're speaking a different language to them. It's almost like they, they feel so victimized. They feel so hurt. They don't understand it. When really they don't want to look at their own behaviors. And this is going to happen for the karmic mate too that you're attracted to. It's a mirroring situation where you're going to say, you, you were not really around for me. You neglected me. I put the energy into myself and I don't really even understand why I would want to have you in my life now. And so again, what you're dealing with is people that form attachments and that's because they feel inadequate. They don't feel safe. The karmic for sure. It's all about control though. When an attachment is formed, it's very codependent. There's a sense of if you didn't heal yourself and pour the energy into yourself and you would have stayed neglecting yourself and let everybody else neglect you, well, then emotionally you would have formed this attachment because you would have not had the discernment to tell the difference. And that's why, like I said, these people are almost like, watching what's going on and they're in disbelief but understand eventually they're gonna thaw out <laughs> and when they do they're gonna be mad and i believe the same thing for the karmic but you are healing yourself because the karmic just 
was stuck in the past in their relationship. They had a bunch of bad relationships and they never really healed any of it. So they brought all their dirty laundry into the relationship that you're in, you know, with them. And so it plays out always as chaos in the relationship because they don't never really let go of it. And letting go doesn't mean that they don't, some actually haven't even let go of the person, but we're not even talking figuratively here. We're talking like, you know, we're talking symbolization almost of the baggage that they have, the psychological and the emotional baggage that has not healed. So they have, they start the relationship on a bad note to begin with. They have commitment phobic. They have, they have, the the runner they they can they always run it's it's the attachment style of avoidance which is a runner someone that as soon as you get safe and comfortable in the relationship on an emotional uh in an emotional way this person is like i'm out they can't be in that relationship so that's baggage. They're bringing their past relationship. And because I believe that the person that they were with didn't emotionally get what they needed. Also, this person just doesn't give to you. It's they have a long history of being this way. The same thing with all these karmic people. Again, there's an arrogance. There's an entitlement. Where remember, I feel like you with someone that didn't have a very high self-esteem, you overgave and you taught these people who you were. Now, imbalance goes to imbalance. It doesn't go towards, hey, I, I'm overgiving and so I should get a person that also overgives. No, spirit says you won't learn the lesson. You're going to get someone that, again, really takes advantage of you because you don't know. I have to teach you. The universe is going to give you the lesson. So, Again, almost like you always feel like, why the fuck am I always with people that treat me like this? And it's because you haven't healed. And it, and that's, so that's really what it is. The same experience and that same experience is almost like having people bully you, having people think that they can get over on you, people perceiving you as one person when you're not that person and then getting mad. And the worst one, you always pay for everyone. If someone was in a relationship with someone that was abusive, you're paying for that. If I And the reason why I feel like that is because I feel like you grew up in an environment where your mother or your father or both were abused, were emotionally abused. And so that karmic cycle was now repeated onto you. So that trauma continues to play out within your relationships and within these relationships of, that are supposed to be close, that are supposed to form intimacy. Intimacy is not just about sex. It's about trust. So that's family. So family, anyone that is close that you would or are supposed to associate with unconditional love and trust and all the higher um, emotional characteristics of unconditional love, you never deal with. What you see is the exact opposite in people that get close to you. And so this is why you had to, again, break the karmic cycle because for you, you're like, well, because of my past, but your past is, again, being abused growing up, whether that's emotionally, psychologically, being told every day that you're stupid or, you know, that you're not important is abuse. And that is really what creates attachments because then we feel inadequate. And that's why we want to make it like we're perfect wear a mask then so I feel like for a long time this was you I feel like you did the healing work you became yourself that's what these people aren't getting 
This is why it's like a shock. This is why they know what went on, but it's like, I know what happened, but it's almost like I, I don't have a feeling towards it. It's like, I'm watching it. I'm in disbelief of what really has happened. They're in denial. And we all know that that's a stage of healing. Denial at first, but we also know what comes after denial. Anger. So, um, and, and again, like where relationships then, when we are like, feel like we need to be perfect, right? We're only focusing on one area of ourselves. We're not really growing ourselves. And what happens is, is then we're only attracting people that have a lot of passion for us, right? They have a lot of passion, but they're emotionally not giving us anything. So I feel like you're connected to somebody that was a karmic that pretty much just wanted passion. They wouldn't give you anything else. And I feel like for a long time, you were nice to this person. So they perceived that you were someone that you weren't. And I also believe that the people, these karmic people, they remember you from a way that when you weren't as healed as who you are now. So again, they're dealing with a completely different person. So there's a, a lot of people that have a lot of like, I, I want to say mixed emotions right now, the disbelief, anger, shock, resentment, like all these different emotions because you're making people look at themselves when they are on such a low vibration. Because they're projecting, they perceive you to be something that you're not. And it's because they're imbalanced. Again, that's why they come across as arrogant and self-entitled. Even the karmic, same energy. So let's see what is going to happen. Yeah, I feel like that people, are, they're going to talk. Like I said, they're going to, they are going to broadcast, like making the news by creating stories because they what's going to happen is they're not no one can manipulate you anymore so when a narcissist or just a toxic person can't manipulate you what they do is they try to manipulate the environment to make you perceive that you are the wrong one right to get you to to bend And I feel like, again, you will continue to like self-examine yourself and really like be like, no, I don't, I don't like, again, you're not going to do anything because you've really done a lot of healing. Like I said, it's not like, and, and you don't care about these people anymore. They haven't been in your life. No one felt that they needed to give you anything. That's the kicker here. No one treated you well. Everyone treated you like shit. And, but you used to be nice, even though people didn't treat you nice. They can fuse empathy as weakness. And that is not, that's the exact opposite. When really, this is why it's like you're, I feel like you've done self examination and you don't have any feelings towards these people anymore. You're like, there's a disconnect because you haven't been in my life. So emotionally, you haven't. So they don't understand why you're not affected. They don't understand why they don't realize that you created a whole other life. They haven't been in your life. They haven't contributed to your life. So it's almost like they're perceiving you to be who they are. And so I just feel like sometimes we have to go through the experience again to break the karmic cycle so we see a different version of ourselves. And what I feel like in this story is you were living the same karmic cycle and the same karmic cycle was the same type of experience. And the same type of experience was one that made you to feel as if you were inadequate, that there was something wrong with you that, and that you were always dealing with people that were self-entitled and acted more superior, though they weren't more superior they just had like a false confidence and knew that they could manipulate you. 
So that's why I feel like, and truth of the matter is, everybody already knows who you are, is what I'm feeling. Because I feel as if there's, everyone is reflecting back on who you've been over the past few years. And really the story that everyone's, that these negative people are telling is the exact opposite of what people that are on a higher vibration see don't see rather they see exactly who you are so I feel like at this time it's like you're not going to go back it's very likely that you are just not going to react or give in but I understand it's very likely that these people are going to try to create again some turbulence in your life is very likely because again but all that they can do is all that they can do is is manipulate you scare you gaslight you like it's a paper tiger they don't have any power and i feel like you're gonna break free you're breaking free it's like you're gonna be seen as almost like rebellious and strong-willed, where at one time I feel like you saw yourself as weak, as people saw you as weak. So you're giving people also an opportunity to see you differently, which allows you to actually really see yourself differently. And um, also to break the karmic cycle. So that's exciting. And... I feel like the reason why you attracted the, this situation into your life, like it's that I feel like you were brought up in an environment that didn't make you feel safe. But let's look and see what the real wounds were, the specific wounds. <clears throat> Security and safety. So again, that's what I was saying. Like you didn't feel safe. That's the, the environment that you grew up in didn't feel safe with your parents or one parent didn't make you feel safe, whether that was psychologically, emotionally, physically, all of the above. So again, that's why you were coming from a place of not your higher self. You were coming from a place of fear, which is I want to be liked. I want to be accepted. It doesn't matter about what my needs are or how people perceive me. I'm more concerned about being liked I'm more concerned about fitting in I'm more and that's again why these people are like I don't know who you are because again of the abuse and these are your inner child wounds we already knew this but I just like like to pull the cards anyway and look at this and this is a gift resilience so that was a gift that you always had growing up in the environment that you grew up in that that I feel like you had a parent that tried to drag you down all the time, beat you down, beat you down, beat you down because of the trauma that they endured. That's what past family karma, ancestral karma is, the behaviorisms. And I just feel like your mother or father so really suffered from anxiety. And in when they would get under stress, they didn't know how to handle it. And it really made you not feel safe because they were emotionally and psychologically abusive. Like as if there, there was something wrong with you because you couldn't control the environment because you weren't perfect, which is again, where that shame came from and what everyone expected you to do, which is try to be perfect, try to be likable, try to be, which you did that already. That didn't work. So spirit says faith. When we ask what other energy can we pull into this? I mean, obviously you escaped from everyone, but everyone's not happy about it and expect that there's going to be talking. So we ask spirit, well, what can I do to deal with that? And spirit says faith and have faith that you're have faith that you're and be confident that you'll achieve your goals, that these people can't stop you. In the Bible, it says nothing can stop you from what is yours, only you do. And that's what these people are trying to do. They're trying to take you off your focus, but they can't do that. They're a paper tiger. Now, if you weren't healed, 
the situation would have been that you would have reacted and probably caved and over gay. But that's not going to happen because you are again confident and you are working towards achieving your goals because when you are actually working towards them, you're saying to the universe, I believe that they can happen. Take some mustard seed. God makes that multiply. Again, when you put in a little bit of effort, it just creates it. If you can imagine it, you can create it, but you have to be grounded to do it. I live in the present. Again, right now, this is what's happening, not what they're going to do, not what anyone's going to say, not any of it. It's just only in the now do you get divine guidance. So you're being led. And I firmly believe in my value within the universe, which is what, again, the key here is I firmly believe in my value within the universe. That's not a thumbs down. I don't know why Zoom likes to do that. It's really irritating, but I can't get the emojis off. Anyway, um, again, when we're abused, we don't feel good about ourselves. We don't feel safe and secure. So really, again, what this is, is like it's having secure boundaries, standing true to yourself and walking away from the people that really and like know that you just you're not dealing with it anymore that you're intolerant to it you're intolerant to the to the bs because you know your value that's the difference so i'm going to leave that there gemini you let me know how you resonated with this and we'll talk to you guys soon bye